Hear ye, hear ye. Welcome to another episode of Sneaker Battle. I am your host, Tony Mui, and today we are making history. We have the first ever female sneaker battle living on the complex platform. In one corner, she is a radio co-host of the Hot 97's morning show, Ebro in the Morning, and a representative of Los Angeles, California, Miss Laura Styles. <laughs> and in the other corner, she is a content creator, a businesswoman, and first ever international battler hailing from the sixth side, Toronto, Canada's very own A to the Bed, AKA Anna Bediones. And of course, our usual suspect, Jose, is the neutral party. He's here to provide secondary market prices to give the viewers some insight on how these sneakers either appreciated or depreciated over time. Let me start off with you, Miss Laura Styles. For those who are not familiar with your kick game, what can the viewers expect today? And do you feel any pressure being the first ladies to grace the battle stage? No, no pressure at all. It's fine. I got, I, I think both of us pretty much have enough heat to compete with anybody. So I know I'm looking at Anna's stuff and I'm she's good. I don't think this is a gender thing. Although at the beginning, if you really want to talk sneakers, women were limited to the types of style that we could get because of sizing. So that's always been a thing. Much respect. Anna, you're representing an entire nation. How are you feeling at the moment? I'm feeling good. It's nice to see Complex giving women some space to participate and um, could have picked someone better. I've been kind of nervous, <laughs> but should be fine. You'll be fine. All right, let me break down the rules. The rules are simple. This is a five round battle. Each round will be a different category. Both battlers will show off their sneakers on the count of three. Round one, show off your best animal inspired sneaker. In three, two, one, show. Ooh, I like it. All right, we'll start off with you, Anna. I picked this just because of the history behind it. This was one of the first girls only colorways for Jordan. It's an 11 low and I got this last year and I just always wanted it. So this is my personal favorite. I went with these because these came out, I think it was 2013. And that's exactly when I got them. So I've had these since 2013. I love this animal pack. I almost really killed it with this one. And I think I got these in Japan. I love the way they were designed and I think it was just a really fun sneaker. And I've been taking care of these babies ever since. Is that is that like a leopard print? Yep. Very it's nice. It's like a leopard mixed with a, like a sand, sandstorm camo. Uh, the checker is like a snake skin. So we have a couple little like little features in here. Very nice. And we could always go with these too. Talk about it. But I figured we're going to go with these because these are just OGs and I think you should show off when you have stuff that you've been taking care of for a long time. Like, I think that just gives it up. To me, it makes it a little extra special. Very nice. So that was your honorable mention, the other sneaker that yes. you showed. Okay. This is my choice. That was my honorable mention. Okay. Anna, do you have any honorable mentions? These air stabs, probably a less popular choice, but those are fire. Very nice. All right, Jose, talk to me. So I'll start with you, Anna. That 11 looks like it's going for around 250 on average in the secondary market. It's obviously a great choice. The low is, I think, a little understated, but I think if you can pull it off, that's a great shoe. For you, Laura, found yours are for around 800 on the secondary market. Hard to come across and, um, you know, not as many pairs online. So another great choice. Let's move on to the second round. Show off the best sneaker to wear on a first date. In three, two, one, show. Oh, very nice. All right, Laura, you go first. Wait, how can you deny this beautiful shoe? <laughs> I think Union really came through when they put their little touches on them, this vintage feel. I love the stitching on it, the two-tone laces. It's actually one of my favorite sneakers. And I feel like if I was gonna go on a first date and I show up with these, the person I'm going on a date with better have some heat on their feet. They better not come regular. I ended up going with these acronym Prestos in the bamboo colorway. They're from the first wave of the acronym Presto collab. And these were tough for me to hunt down. And the smallest size it comes in is a triple extra small, which is still too big for me. But like Laura said, I mean business when I'm out here. So it's so hard to find sneakers in our sizes, right? I mean, it's getting better. I got a couple honorable mentions though. You can't deny these and can't deny these. Fire. So at least at least we have a little something. But those are those are straight. Um, so that's a little heat for a first date. 
All right, Jose, talk to me. So I'll start with you, Laura. The Union Jordan 1 in the blue colorway is going for around 1500 on average. I think that one out of the two is probably my personal preference. The blue, I think, is also, you don't see it too often. Definitely see a lot of the black toe, which Anna pulled right. out. For Anna, those acronym Prestos are going for around 875 on average. Smaller sizes go for more. It's hard to find, but again, a great shoe, super comfortable, and I would never get rid of it if I had. All right, moving on to round three. Show off your best sneaker designed by a female. In three, two, one, show. Ooh, -hoo. Anna, go first. I think I'm more of like an emotional collector. So this is an exclusive to Toronto. It was supposed to see a global release, but it didn't. It's not like a famous woman who designed it, but she's the same woman who designs all of those OBJ cleat mashups. Um, Erin Cochran, EC Electric Circus on Instagram. And these just like get a lot of attention when I'm wearing them in the US. I went with the Cactus Plant Vapor Max designed by Cynthia Lou. And when I first saw the sneaker, I just thought it was such a fun take on it. You know what I mean? I was like, I love the, the, the small, like the details. And I love how the check kind of like is, is 3D and, and it pokes out. And I think she did just a great job. And I love the color, the color schemes and it's very balanced. It's super comfortable too. Look, I've worn the shit out of these shoes. So listen, I have I have a Melody Asani's. I have the Laylees right here that I'll show you, which are which make me really happy too. Listen, I just support women who are who are um who are throwing fire out here. Very nice, Anna. You got any honorable mentions? The Nordstrom pack, the Olivia Kim Jordan fours. This is what I keep saying in my mind: the black cat should be. I like these a lot, and she's Asian, so bonus. Represent. All right, Jose, talk to me. And I'll start with the ears. Definitely not too many pairs of these online. And there's definitely a big range between price on these. I would say between 400 and 1,000 for yours. Again, I think if more pairs were released, that probably would have gone down. But since you've got one, the price are kind of high for that. So definitely a good pick for you and way to rep your city with those. For Laura, the cactus plants are all over the place. It's like 500, 700, 1,000. But yeah, big range between those. So 400 to 1,000 for those, depending on your size. I think it's important to say, and I'm sure I know you feel this way too, like I don't buy sneakers because of the value. You understand know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care how much they cost. I, I, we buy them because we love them. And then almost sometimes, I'll keep it real with you, it annoys me to hear they were going for like $1,000. I don't think I don't think anybody should pay a thousand dollars for a pair of sneakers. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. The way that I shop for sneakers is what I'll wear the most, and sometimes the things that I wear the most are the most simple sneakers. And a lot of the sneakers I've purchased in the last couple of years are sneakers that I've always wanted and couldn't afford when I was younger when I was right. in school. And so I'm playing a lot of catch up. <laughs> and I will say, if I don't get them retail price, I won't buy them. What do you ladies think about uh, men rocking ladies design shoes? I don't see any, I don't see any difference. We've been liking men shoes forever. If the design is fly, every person should be able to wear what they want. All right, moving on to the fourth round. Show off your best sneaker package. In three, two, one, show. Oh, okay. So we got these Nike SB Concepts Lobsters. The whole idea of uh, this packaging that I thought was pretty dope was that it's supposed to be an ice box and the lobster's supposed to be inside. These bands are supposed to be, you know, the bands that, that the lobster <laughs> come in. <laughs> I thought that was really, really creative. I love the purple laces. I, it just came with a variety of extra. So this is from the Space Jam Retro. So this is a PR box and I think there's only like five that came out in Canada. Holy or cow. So it came with like this video that would play when you opened it. There's a Toon Squad jersey, a DVD, and then like a personalized water bottle. When you open it here, we've got the Jordan 31s in nice. the Space Jam colorway, and then the 11s, which I haven't worn yet. I have nowhere to put this, but I can't let it go. This is my favorite movie, and this one just meant the most to me, so. Do you guys think LeBron James is gonna make a better Space Jam movie than Michael Jordan? No, no fam. <laughs> Jose, talk to me. So Laura, I'll start with you. That pair, the Concepts Nike SB Green Lobsters, definitely has a huge margin range, going from 2,000 at the highest, but only a few pairs to usually about 1,000 on average for those. So 
definitely a good sneaker. I think Concepts does a great job with that kit. They do obviously the yellow, the blue, the reds, purples, and the greens, of course. So great pick for you. For Anna, that 2016 Space Jam Jordan, that packaging alone is very hard to come across. Again, I think, you know, those were gifted from Nike to certain people. So can't really put a price on that. And I don't think many people that got them would sell them probably because they would ruin their plug and you know, <laughs> people would find out. So <laughs> first off, good, good job holding on to them. And secondly, great shoe. All right, let's move on to the final round. Battler's choice. Whatever heat you want to show off to go against your opponent, now's the time to do it. In three, two, one, show. Hold on, a lot of variety here. Okay, Anna, you go first. These are the first VC shocks from 2003. I begged my parents to buy them for me. They're in a men's size, which is way too big. I don't know why I thought they would fit, but I never let them go. And this is like extra important right now because this is Vince Carter's last season. This past week would have been Vince Carter's last game in Toronto. So I like me again, representing Toronto, wanting to relive that history. This is my choice for today. This pair is extremely special. These shoes were only given to the dancers, I believe, and like the intimate circle when NERD performed at ComplexCon. So if you really take a look at some of the details, you can't find these. This was a gift for me, courtesy of my, my family over at Zen, but they know I'm a big NERD fan. So when they gave me these, I was like, get out of here, because I, I, I'm telling you right now, I have people stop me. I wore them one time, because I wear all my sneakers. I'm like, I wear them all. But these might be my most special pair of sneakers that I own. And then I got some honorable mentions too. Of course, I've, I've got these, undefeated joints mm, tough <laughs> clean and just because of nostalgia purposes i pulled out some ice creams Woo. this kobe 8 area 72 pack nice these are my favorite shoes for training and just for basketball and i buy new shoes every year and i still like these the best okay jose talk to me so both these pairs i'm gonna have to rule as priceless laura could not find these online at all i think Whatever anybody offered for you for them, probably just hold on to them forever. Again, like you said the story best. If they were given to you and they're special, I would never get rid of those. And then those Vince Carters that you showed, Anna, are so hard to find. I found other colorways at different prices, but yours specifically are definitely rare, so it's hard to find those. So I'm just gonna rule both these as priceless, especially if they're the battler's choice. All right, well, that concludes another sneaker battle from home. Ladies, before we get out of here, where can some people check out your work? You can find me on Instagram at A to the Bed and on Twitter. I'm a lot more active on there. Google me, Laura Styles with a Z. You can find me on Instagram on all social media platforms. You can listen to me on Hot 97, on uh, We 1029 in Portland. And I'm pretty much doing, I'm always hustling, doing something for our community, representing my Zen family. And, uh, and, and grabbing a, a first period kick somewhere. So thank you guys for having us. I'll leave it up to the viewers. Leave your votes in the comments below. Let us know who won this battle. Even though it's just a showcase, we still need some type of judgment at the end of the day. <laughs> Jose, any, any last words? That's to the people, man. Always. All right. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you on the next episode. Peace.